What can you say about Turin that hasn't been said before? Well, it all depends on how you look at it. At any rate, we're going to give it our best shot to be a little different. Turin is perhaps the prime example of Gothic architecture in the world. Its medieval quality is virtually pristine. And fitting this setting, it's also the birthplace of Nicholas Copernicus, who taught us that the Earth goes around the sun, and not the other way around. I'm not going to say that this is everything you always wanted to know about Torin, but we're afraid to ask, but uh, it's close to it. This is certainly a city not to be missed. It's a pleasure to be enjoyed slowly and deliberately. It would take a couple of weeks to see everything in this city and really soak in the atmosphere, and that would still be pushing it. But we are doing our dead level best to show you the greatest hits of Torun. So sit back and enjoy the next few episodes as Torun is unveiled before your eyes. I'm Will, this is Poland Daily Travel, and we love to see you watching. Like us on YouTube and subscribe if you really, really like us. So join us for Poland Daily Travel Does Torun. Welcome back, and we are walking along the outside of the city walls in Torrent. The river is right there. Uh, this is the boulevard of Philadelphia, right? Philadelphian Boulevard, exactly. Why is that? Because this, Philadelphia this was our first partner city from the, the 70s. Okay, the first twin city in the, first the 70s. Twin city. Yeah, yeah, early exactly. 70s? Yeah. 1973. 73, that's yeah. early. So it was still very much the communist times here then. Yeah, very yeah. like. Yeah, big those were good days, times. weren't they? <laughs> I'm not that old. Not but. <laughs> really. No, I mean, but you heard about it. Yeah. Of course, I didn't think yes, you were that yes, old. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's not was that not a yeah. happy time at all. And neither one of us is that old. Okay, uh, the last Gothic gate to be built in Torun was erected in 1432. You know a little bit about this, I think, don't you? Exactly. Because you were youngest. telling me to start. That's the youngest, Torrens Gate. Uh -huh. uh, the Bridge Gate. Uh, the yeah. name comes, obviously, from a bridge uh, that doesn't exist anymore. We just um, right now have There was a wooden those, bridge here. A wooden bridge. Oh, like maybe where those people are. Exactly, where we have those two platforms. Um, OK. On the other side, where the bridge was crossing the river, ah. we now have a platform, right. a viewing platform, Okay. from which we can see the second wonder of Poland, which is the panoramic view of Toron. Oh, and I see this. The sign says "Davne Most." Exactly. Na yes. Viswa. That means yes. old bridge on the on the Viswa, Viswa right? River. Or right. long ago bridge, right? Yeah. Okay. It's an old bridge. So this was. Uh, that uh, was the longest bridge in Poland. At that so time. they built the gate to to go over to this bridge, which was, as you say, the longest bridge at the time. Yeah. That's incredible, right? So it was a very important uh, center of trade here. Yeah. Very important. Torun actually lived of trade and uh, Vistula River had its uh, major importance mm -hmm. because it was like the highway of Middle Ages. And in fact, the river was twice as wide as it's now. Really? Yeah. But going out the other side. Yeah. yeah. Because this, here we had the embankment. Yeah. What you can see right now, it was actually an island that was uh, more or less in the middle of the, oh, of the okay. river at that time. Yeah. So that just got much narrower. Uh, right now, the level of uh, water is uh, really high because there were like heavy downpours in the south uh, of Poland. Right. So all this water is right now coming up to, to here and further down to Gdańsk, right? But, uh, right? but still the river is not nearly as big as it was in the past, in the Middle Ages. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That's really something to, try to imagine how the rivers change their courses. And also to try and imagine what it would have been like hundreds of years ago, half a millennia ago half a thousand years ago, you know, if you try to get your mind around how different life was. And yet, totally different. these walls still exist, but life was, was very different. There's a fellow enjoying himself, going down to the river to have a beer. Come on, what's this stuff here? Um, that's actually one of the pulleys of uh, one of the 70 granaries that we uh, have in Torun. Okay. And uh, here we have a good representation of those uh, bags of grains that were taken up by this pulley and put yeah. on different floors of the granary, which is behind those impressive uh, medieval walls. So this was, uh, this was a storage a warehouse, basically, right? Yes, in the back, in the, in the building behind, exactly. Yeah. That's very uh, substantial. And of course, it's here and next to the gate and next to the bridge, so you can get everything out quick. 
but yeah. not uh, all the granaries were just along the river. Many of them were inside of the city. So um, yeah. the grain was the most important uh, merchandise which was traded with uh, here in Torun. And basically in uh, the whole country, like Poland was called the granary of, uh, the granary of Europe. So uh -huh. thousands of tons of grains were like exported by the Vistula River to the Western Europe. And as you say, the highway, the, the Vistula, the Vistula was a highway. It's uh, the most important at that time. Yeah. Uh, trade route at that time. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the boats were the trucks of the time, right? Yeah. You can say the, so. The canal boats, if you, if, not canal boats, but the barges. Barges. Yeah. And actually, the biggest barges could even carry up up to 200 tons. Can you imagine that? Back then. Back then. Yeah. It's serious, isn't it? But they didn't have television. They didn't have telephones, smartphones. They didn't have any other any entertainment. So they could concentrate on the work, on, <laughs> on work, <the> trade. <laughs> and building things. You know, that was the, that business. was your fun, right? Was, that was doing entertainment something. Also. Yeah? That was entertainment, yeah. wasn't it? It's funny to think that people could think about trade as entertainment. You know, it still is for some people. Of course, it is. Um, business is fun if you like what you're doing. But to imagine that people have trouble focusing on their working, on the work they do. Nowadays, we do, uh, all of us, because we have so much uh, distraction and entertainment. They didn't have that. Or I perhaps could. they did, but we just, what would it have been? I don't know. Drinking? <laughs> maybe drinking, maybe yeah. watching the trials <laughs> from the town hall. <laughs> that was also watching like the trials in the sort of medieval TV, yeah. you know, at that time. Medieval, <laughs> medieval TV. <laughs> Through the huge and, window. And taking care of your kids, yeah. yeah. I guess. Yeah. Are we going to go this way or that way? Straight ahead. We're going to go straight ahead. Walls. Right. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're here just inside the Sailor's Gate, right? Exactly. And what do we see behind us? These are important buildings, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. The most important building that we can see from here is the tower of the cathedral. Right. The cathedral is the oldest and the most important uh, church in Torun, the cathedral of two St. John's, St. John Baptist and St. John Evangelist. Okay. And uh, actually the tower is the youngest part uh, of the church, uh -huh. but in the same tower we have the uh, bell that we have already heard about. Uh, so the bell those, from the, the 1500s. legends of Torun Museum. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The tuba day, the trumpet of God. Right. The bell. But what is also interesting on the same tower... The trumpet of tuba of God or trumpet? Tuba okay. Dei in Latin, yeah. the trumpet of God. It means trumpet. Okay. Trumpet, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, but from the same year we have this beautiful clock uh, on this tower that we can see from here. What year is that again? 1500, the 1500. same year as the bell. The same year as the bell. The so same the year clock as the bell. is from 1500. So this is right around the time Columbus was going back and forth to discover or Quote, exactly. Quote, discover the new world. Exactly. A long so you time can, ago. So you can see that, that this year was very special here in Torun. Not yeah. only here in Torun, because uh, we had the same story as in the year 2000. There was this gossip about the end of the world. Oh, the millennium. The millennium, yes, the you can half say. Millennium, half yeah. millennium. Half yeah. millennium, yes. So it seems every 500 years there is the same story, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so here Torunians, uh, to praise God not to finish the world, uh, made the bell that we already know about. Mm -hmm. And also they made this, uh, this clock. This clock, yeah. But this clock uh, is also interesting. Count down to the end. <laughs> no, yeah. no, hopefully not. <laughs> well, that's, they thought but that it's still right? working, but it's still working. And you can see that we are like about, it's about six. Yeah. Uh, so it's actually quite hard uh, to say what is missing on that clock because uh, there is something missing there. Yeah. Any ideas what is that? One of the hands is missing. Correct. The and hour hand? Or the no, minute hand? I the minute see. hand. The minute hand is missing because what we can see there is only one hand that in the form of a hand is right. showing the hours, so it's on the six. It's coming up to six o'clock, right? And the moon yeah. on the other side. This truck can get by. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And the moon on the other side of the hand is just the counterbalance for the hand, so mm -hmm. it's just one hand. Um, and the reason why it's missing the minute hand, it's very prosaic. It's actually the first minute hand was invented in 17th century, so oh. 200 years after. Oh, there were no minute well. hands, that's why I didn't have one. No. I did not know that. I bet a lot of I you know. did not know that either, but it's an interesting fun fact to know and tell. And this okay. cathedral is the oldest cathedral in Torrent and one of the oldest in the country, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. 13th century, so, yeah. so almost 800 years old, almost with the presbytery years. being the oldest part, the beautiful presbytery. And the presbytery is the... 
the part where the altar is located, with the two big paintings, monumental paintings of the two patrons, mm -hmm. which is St. John Baptist and St. John Evangelist. Wow. Let's keep walking. I tell you, there's something I can see across the road here, which is very interesting. 